What's up, Facebook family, human family, and to the 7.5 billion people on the planet, say good morning to you, and I hope that your dreams and your goals are gradually becoming true, that you're taking the steps towards them each and every day, and that you understand that with your goals is going to come opportunity and risk, and you just being able to bear those opportunities and risk and that you understand that every morning you're fighting for your mental and spiritual survival in order to obtain a physical desire. Today is about me just trying to talk about the ocean that we're in. And when I say ocean, I'm talking about the psychological situations that we find ourselves in. In a physical sense, all rivers and lakes, they flow to the ocean. The biggest body of water in the world is the ocean. And we start our lives off on dry land, meaning that most of the times as young people, all things being equal, we have people in our lives that give us the proper information and the proper knowledge, or sometimes we get misguided by information and knowledge and sometimes the way our mindset is, is how we process that information and we go about as young people trying to figure our world out. And the world is a massive place and psychologically we make it even bigger because once we, begin, once we become of age and we understand who we are, we start trying to piece together dreams and goals and ideas and concepts just so that we could define ourselves. And when you're in your own ocean, what normally starts off as something innocent ends up spiraling into something that we would call controversial, but we've made that choice. So the first thing I wanna say is, once you understand that you are now in a position to make decisions for your life, and those decisions are just going to simply come from the people that you surround yourself with. And there's no right or wrong about who you surround yourself with. But the thing that we don't do most of the time is that we don't really listen to what people are saying to us a lot of times. So when you're in, before you get into your ocean, you're on dry land and people might say things to you that really interest you. They may say, well, if you can invest in this or if you help me with this, or if you can join me in this endeavor, then we can do whatever to make ourselves successful. And the words are so powerful and romantic and, and def, you know, definitive in your mind that you participate. So you start by putting your foot in somebody else's ocean and then you find yourself in their world. And when you are engulfed in somebody else's world, you're just fulfilling their dreams. You may not think that you are, but actually you are. But if it's a, a dream in good spirit, where good harmony and everything works out, then when you're helping someone, then in turn you're helping yourself. And if it's cyclical, it'll be returned back to you. But sometimes it doesn't work that way, all things being equal. So you take your foot out of that ocean, and then you say to yourself, well, this is my life. I'm gonna make these decisions and these decisions are going to get me where I need to go. And once you understand that, then you begin to make these decisions, right? And once those decisions are being made correct in your mind, then what you begin to think about is, man, I'm, I'm, I'm doing well now. I, you know, I'm, I got control of my own life and nobody can tell me differently. So you go deeper into your ocean. You get knee deep in it. And when you're knee deep, you can see the shoreline because if you get knee deep, you can come back, reassess it, and then go back in with more information or with the learning experience. And then you go, you get shoulder deep into the choices that you make and you find yourself getting further away from the shoreline. But the problem about it is in order for you to get back to the shoreline, you got to be able to swim. You got to swim back with all those problems that you created or those opportunities or chances or whatever you define them as. You have, to, you have to now decide, do I want to swim back to that safety 
uh, shoreline or do I want to go deeper into my own ocean, my own dreams, my own goal because this is the thing that I've chosen. But you decide to say, well, I'm not going to go back to the shoreline because I already know what's there. I want to go deeper into myself, into my dreams and my goals. Time passes by, ladies and gentlemen. Sometimes you look up and you wonder to yourself, where did it all go? But a very attentive person will know that time is there to measure things. Time is not your friend, neither is time your enemy. It is just something that you're born into, something that's just going to occur when you're naturally alive. But time goes by and you find yourself in the center of your ocean with the water at your chin. It's too deep for you to swim down to try to touch the bottom. It's too far for you to try to swim back to the shores. And now you caught in a situation where you say to yourself, man, how did I get here? I mean, have, been, have any of you ever had that situation where you find yourself saying, man, how did I get here? But nonetheless, you, but then you say, man, I wish that there was somebody that could come along and, and help me maneuver my business or I wish there could be someone to help me become a public speaker or wish there was someone to help me become a business leader or a community leader or just a leader in and of myself because number one I listen to myself but I'm in this ocean that I've created and I don't swim well and the shore is just too far but I think I've learned from my experiences all I need is someone to help me get back to my shoreline so you look around and all of a sudden here comes a person and they have this big yacht and they see you and they say why are you out here struggling like this and you say well I'm just trying to make my way back to my shoreline so I can re-strategize my plans and achieve my goals and this person with this nice big yacht says come on and jump on I can take you to the shoreline as a matter of fact I'm headed to shore right now you're excited you jump on the yacht and when you get there you see that this person has everything that you ever desired and you begin by asking questions you might ask a question like how do you get here and he might say well I travel oceans and in traveling oceans I find people that are in distress and I offer them opportunities to work I'm kind of like a an ocean entrepreneur. I can get you out of your ocean if that's what you want. And then you ask another question, well, what steps are those? And that person say, well, those steps are going to involve a little or more in depth than I can talk to you right now, but as we're sailing the seas, I'm going to take you into my ocean. But you don't hear them say, I'm taking you into my ocean. And I'm going to take you to my shoreline. But you play along you're listening because you really want to be successful and they start laying out for you the plans that they have done and you find that very informative then the person says in this nice big yacht well you can become a part of this if you want all you got to do is not go back to your ocean and drown in your own problems you can come over here and we can be problem solvers together. You can help me solve my problems. And in terms of you assisting me with mine, I will more than likely help you with yours. They didn't say they're going to completely help you with yours. They say more than likely. Now you're caught in a rock and hard place, right? But you still are determined to say to yourself that I'm going to make it. And you say to the person of this yacht, man, I really learned a lot from you. Now, I thank you for that. But before we cross over into your ocean and go to your shoreline, I just need you to drop me off back into my ocean so that I can use some of your information and build my own platform, learn how to swim, and then I can get back to my shoreline. And with what I've learned, I can make myself successful. The person with the big yacht say, well, that's, that's up to you. If you want to, since you jumped on the yacht, you got to jump off the yacht. 
And if destiny is set for us, we'll meet again. Hopefully you'll be successful. But what I have is a proven success. And you think about it, you look at the big yard, you look at the shoreline that you can almost see of his, but you don't have a shoreline. And you take a leap of faith and you jump right back into your problems. But the only difference is this time you got some added information now, you understand what it takes to be successful. And you're gonna make sure that you apply these principles that this guy has given you, or this person has given you, to make you a successful person. But the problem is, now that you have assumed this entrepreneurial spirit, it has caused the water to now rise, and now it's at eye level. And you can barely breathe, but luckily you know how to dog paddle and you can stay afloat. And then you say, I, I think I got it. I just need someone to come along and offer me a ride to my shoreline. If I could just get that and get back with all this stuff that I've learned in my life with this added information and with the spirit of faith and honesty and trust, I can make it. So then here comes another person and they just have a small boat, but they see you. And the person says to you, what are you doing here, my friend? And you say, well, I'm kind of stuck in my own problems. I've tried all the level of success, and I think I got what I need. I just need to get back to my shoreline. And the person says to you, jump on. I will take you to your shoreline. You were very skeptical at first, because that's what the person with the big yacht said. But nonetheless, someone has come, come along again, and you're going to take this chance. So you jump, in the, you jump on that little boat. And as you're traveling with this person, they don't say anything to you at all. They just look at you and they look at your ocean and you say to them, well, why are you looking at me like that? And you say, and he said, or they say, well, I see that you have amassed a lot of problems in this big world of yours. Why did you create so many problems with yourself when life could be simple if you just understand who you are. Now they're getting all metaphysical on you. And then you say, well, I thought I had a dream and I was chasing that dream, but I ran into a lot of different voices and I kept bumping into different people and bumping into their waters and now I find myself in my water, <laughs> nose deep. And the person says, well, I hope that you have learned a lesson out here in your ocean that you can be the person that can solve your own problems and that you created the problem based upon what other people told you about you but not what you have truly learned about yourself and you begin to think like that that's true and then you say to the man in such a rush or to the person in such a rush now you're not taking me to your to your ocean right I mean I don't want to be in your ocean I don't want to go to your shoreline and the wise person says no I travel oceans and I seek to save those who need to be saved from themselves so that when they get to where they're going, they can understand the value of life. And then you look and you nod your head and you say, wise, why thank you. All of a sudden you see the shoreline and in looking at the shoreline, it looks that it's like your place of where you started from and you finally reach the shoreline. And the young man on the boat says, I will not take anything from you, but what I would want you to do is, when you become successful at what you're doing, just do me one favor. And you look at him and you say, what is that? That person says, make sure that you share what you've learned with the world. Make sure you pay it forward as much as you can and influence as many young people as you can and make sure that you can impact the world any way that you can as long as it leads them back to their shoreline from the worlds of trouble that they're in. Because most of the time when you find this young man or young person, you find that your troubles come from within. The man took the boat and began to sail off towards the setting of the sun. Ladies and gentlemen, 
the moral of that story is that you live in a country where you can do anything you want every single day that you wake up. And even if you create opportunities, even if you create problems, even if you don't quite know the direction that you're going, you can travel it freely and you can learn, you can gather information from people, you can assimilate that knowledge, you can apply that knowledge, and you can go out and impact lives by giving them things that they can honestly and truly use. That's what we need in the world today. We need information that's gonna tell a young person. And I think Gary Vee and Antonio Smith and Tony Robbins, they say this all the time, like, don't just talk about the ocean that you're in. Get up and solve the problem with, with the ocean that you're in, right? Solve that thing so when you solve it, you can tell someone else. And you got people that have done that in the history of the world. They have solved problems. And they have changed their lives through solving problems. Your human mind is made to solve problems, no matter how difficult they may be. You just have to fix yourself, just like I have to prepare myself every day to fix a situation that I find myself in. And if I find myself in a challenging situation, then my mind has to rise above the challenge in order to, in order to beat the challenge that's in front of me. So to the young people in the world, you're gonna always be challenged, man. There's nothing in this world that's not gonna challenge you. You got friend that's gonna challenge you. You got a family member that's gonna challenge you. You even got the world at large that's gonna challenge, challenge you. But the, the essential essence of being challenged is that you have to elevate your mind above the problem so that you can see it clearly and that you can solve it. If you stay buried in that ocean that you've created, then you're not rising above the problems. And sometimes you can't do it by yourself, right? Sometimes you, you got to admit you can't do it by yourself. So then that's when someone comes along and they're giving you both sides. You can get the side with the yacht where you got everything and you can go and help them. Or you can get the boat where someone just comes along. They're truly are trying to help you identify your deepest desire. So I challenge you today and just any other time I try to get on here to say something to the world. You got to understand that sometimes your own worst enemy is you. But you can solve your enemy problem if it's you by digging deep inside to understand what is it that you really and truly want to do. What are you passionate about? And start off when you're young and don't yield to nobody. True, it might be hard for you, but if you're passionate about it and your mind is elevated above the problem, then you can sail through with it with perfect ease. And then you can set sail on a boat and you can go out and see who you can help bring to their shoreline. And you can say, help someone else pay it forward. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for your time and attention. And attention. If you like this video, please share it with the world and let them know that we're here to mind build. We're here to vote and mind mail. We're here to make sure that the world that we have before us, that we discover what Mr. Les Brown say our greatness. Until we meet again, enjoy the rest of your day. Keep on pursuing your dreams for the rest of your life. Peace.